we say, it's very critical of course, but we say that our society as it is today um, puts a premium on mediocrity and niceness and, you know, being sweet and being polite. Whereas we put a premium on being stroppy and being aggressive, but not in a way that kind of... Aggressive in a good way. Aggressive like an animal's aggressive if it feels it, or like a kid is if it feels it. <laughs> so you feel the aggression is, is helpful? Mm. Healthy. And I wouldn't go to bed with him if he was in a violent mood. I would make sure that we stayed up half the night and got it out of him first, <laughs> so that I wasn't sort of in danger. This is Snowy, Jenny's sister, who also yeah, lives in the commune. Him, How are you after the group, Sal? I was uh, having a long talk with Simon about you this morning. Oh, I see. Also um, present <laughs> is Sally, an English girl, and Jenny's daughter, <laughs> no, Becky. No, no, no. My father's never been a father to me. He's never lived with us. He's never... My mum took took me and looked after me, but my father never... He just didn't basically want anything to do with me, you know. Didn't want anything to do with bringing me up. So... <laughs> Uh, Rob is somebody that I was with, he was my boyfriend, um, about a year ago for a while and he had a sort of mental breakdown and went into mental hospital as a result of being with me. Anyway, he's been living back in the commune um, most of the summer and I've had absolutely nothing to do with him because I felt I, I didn't dare to, it was impossible to go anywhere near him. Um, because he was too mad, he was just really, really, really insane and um, over the months I've sort of gradually dared to sort of say good morning and things like that. But I mean, obviously, if I actually do start to really relax and really let go and be with him, um, there's going to be all hell let loose, obviously, to me, you know. And then I'm just going to have to make sure that I've always got somebody really near to, to run to, which in Atlantis we have all the time. If you hurt someone openly, deliberately, because it's your truth, it really is up to them to cope with what happens then. It doesn't seem to me matter to you, Sally, about how you talk about relationships or talk about sex. It doesn't seem to matter to you. You can just talk about it. I couldn't just sit there and talk the way you were talking. I couldn't just sit there and just blab away like that. It, I just think it's a, a really sort of delicate or kind of sensitive kind of subject and it, it's not something just to just talk about, you know. Very extreme things get said indeed. That's, that's the point, that you get out every horrible thought that you have about this person. And then it's up to the other person to feel what that does to them. I, I, I just feel absolutely violently angry. I don't know. Why? What... Why do you feel angry? I just hate, hate the them. way that you're talking about it. Just me hate Why? the way that you're f***ing treating Why? me. Why? I just hate it. I just hate the way that you're acting as if I'm f***ing nothing, as if you think that you're on top of me or something. I just hate the way that you're... Acting Why? As if What's so terrible about what I'm doing? Because it's just as you're f dismissing me, as if I'm, as if I'm some little squirt or something, rather, as if I'm, as if you don't like me, and as if I'm. Um, uh, I don't I just, like I, you I, I at all. I, I don't like it. Well, I just, I just f want you to stay there and for me to scream, say here, and to just scream abuse at each other. I just, that's just what I really want. I just want to just complain, to scream abuse at you. I just want to. Say to you, I mean, I just want to say to you with some kind of cover. I think you're a bitch, you know. I think you're a and I think you're a I think you're horrible to treat me the way you're treating me. I just hate you for the way that you're treating me. I just hate you. She's saying you hate me, and she's saying yes, she does. I hate you for everything. I hate you for coming and being prettier than me. I hate you for getting boyfriends for more than I do. I do hate it! And I hate it that you seem to be able to get more than I do! We call someone who's well balanced, someone who can get angry when they feel it, someone who can cry when they feel it, someone who can show love when, when they, that's what they feel. If you, if you call well balanced someone who's always like that, calm and smooth, no. She's terribly unbalanced. <laughs> yeah, well, if it upsets you, it upsets you, but I mean, like, I'm not going to go around and change that, just... And I don't think I've been acting horribly or disgustingly for the last few months. I've just been acting the way that I feel like acting. Well, I and don't I like don't... you for it. I don't like what it what it comes what, what how it is now, which is that oh, well, Sally's all right now, and Sally can be on top, and Sally's got all the support of Jenny and Snow behind it. And it's going to be all right now. Everything's going to be oh, sibling rivalry, is it again? Now? Yes, I mean, all right, it is. Sally seems to have a grudge yes. against Becky. 
Now, yeah. what g possible good is it allowing Sally to work off her uh, grudges on your daughter Becky? I see. What possible good it is, is the fact that it's there anyway. If Becky and Sally are relating, those, the feelings that are in Sally, are th Becky would be the very first person to want, to want Sally provoked. She'd be the first person to want that brought out of Sally, simply because if it's not, she'll feel it as a vibration, she'll feel it as a tension. She'll hate her, she'll want to cut off from her. We actually want people to express their aggression towards us because it's then dealable with, it's seeable, touchable, feelable. And it's not just a horrible sort of feeling of something going on under the surface. That is what we want.